Winter is coming. Let it be known, winter is coming. What's up guys, welcome to another video. As you can tell from the title and the video, uh, this is all about uh, playing in the cold, playing in cold climates and kind of if I enjoy that. I know I get a lot of people ask me, Cal, you know, you've played in Wyoming, you've played in Sweden, Iceland. Like you must, you must really enjoy that. Like, how do you like it? Well, this video is all about that. Some uh, experiences, some stories and kind of my thoughts on that. So let's get to it. So the main question, do I enjoy playing basketball in cold conditions? No, never, ever, ever, nunca, nay. I may enjoy the city uh, or the town of each one. So, you know, I like Rock Springs. I like Sweden, um, Iceland's cool. But do I enjoy playing basketball in those places? In terms of the cold, no. Now I got a lot of love for Wyoming. I like Wyoming a lot. Um, Jenna's from Wyoming, so there's a lot of um, like good connections and great people there. As far as the weather, <laughs> oh, just lost. Josh flew over. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you guys this one story. Um, it was my sophomore year in Wyoming, at Western Wyoming. It was the last few games, it was the last road trip before Christmas break. And uh, we went to, hold on, let me look it up. So we were going to Sterling, Colorado. So from our town in Wyoming, so from Rock Springs to Sterling, it's about six hours maybe a little more with like the snowy conditions. So remember, this is the last road trip before Christmas. You know, everyone's in good spirits. They're gonna get to go home, see their family. Some of the families, uh, some of the guys' families were actually coming to the game. And then from there, they'll go straight back home, Christmas break. Everyone's having a good time. Uh, the team chemistry is all good. And we're on, this, we're, on, we're on this road trip on the bus. It's just our team on this bus and the the heater goes out. So this is December, going from Wyoming to Colorado, snow, a whole lot of snow. The heater goes out. Um, and I remember, <laughs> I remember just how cold that bus got. Like it was, it was nice with the heater on, you know, it's right, it's right on the floor. So, you know, you could warm up and feel nice and warm on the bus, sleep a little bit. When that heater, when all the heaters went out, it got dangerous for <laughs> for a little while. Like, maybe let's let me try and think. It would we would have been about we would have been like a couple hours or maybe half of the trip, so three hours outside um, to Sterling. Heaters out. It got so cold on that bus. Like, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating when I say like, we didn't know what was gonna happen. Like, it was dangerously cold. We had guys huddled up at the back trying to keep warm. We had people throwing towels over them. Like anything they had in their travel bags was going. Like blanket, extra hoodies, like anything guys had pillows, just, just trying to keep warm. So we get to the hotel, we get to Sterling, and they're like, they gotta send a replacement bus. So from Wyoming, this other bus driver comes um, with another bus for us. <laughs> I think I think we play the game, we play the game first, then the bus comes, um, and it's like, all right, new bus is here. We're gonna head out in the morning. Um, for those, for those of you who are going with your families, you go on Christmas break, have a nice time, see you in January. And for those who are going back to school, so I think there was, out of the 12 guys that traveled, I think there was six of us. Um, there was six of us that were heading back to campus. All I know is on this way back, this heater on the new bus breaks. 
all the heat is boom, shut down. And it was the same thing. Like everyone's in good spirits, heading into Christmas break. Like it's just a good feeling, you know, festive is one of the best times of the year. Christmas, Christmas period. And all I know is when this heater on this new bus went out. Psycho man, what you smoking? I'm not smoking, I'm breathing. Oh. It was still just as cold that snow outside, it, it got so, and there's less people on the bus, so you know, it, it got real cold on that bus. We made it back to campus, we had a whole lot of stories of guys, what they were doing to keep warm, and <laughs> it was, it just got real dangerous for, um, for a couple hours on that trip. I remember there was mornings where the heat wouldn't be on in the gym so if we have practice or we would um, do conditioning or something if we had that before classes so before 7 30 and they didn't put their heat on in the gym it takes a long time for your joints and muscles to get activated you know you never really feel like your body's warm you kind of running like an old man because your your hips your knees your ankles like they're not loose um it just takes a while it takes a long um it takes a lot longer to get your body warm in those conditions like why why wouldn't they put the heat on in the gym those were some some memories there cold mornings i remember like just going from the dorms to class so you're outside for maybe 20 seconds, you'd be outside for 20 seconds, 30 seconds. But just that walk or that short time is terrible. And in Wyoming, you gotta think like, it snows, but the worst part about it is the wind taking the snow. So it's really like a blizzard. Like I'm, <laughs> this thing, you're walking to class and you gotta like wrestle these Arctic conditions just to get to class. funny thing about it is I'm in Iceland right now and Iceland is pretty similar to Wyoming in that sense like like when the, the snow comes and it's really winter the wind goes along with it so it's the same like you're fighting you're wrestling these conditions just to get from your car to practice winter is coming let it be known winter is coming there is no way to avoid it there's no running, there's no hiding. It'll get you. <laughs> Winter in the UK, yeah, it gets cold. And you know, when I was there, walking to school wasn't fun. Um, you know, December time, January, dark mornings, um, dark afternoons. When it snows, it may snow a little bit. You can build a snowman if you're lucky the snow was never up to your knees <laughs> there was never wind blowing the snow directly in your face but wyoming sweden iceland <laughs> those winters are real they're the real deal there's no other way to say it there's no other way to say it and it's funny to compare it to um, to Arizona. So me being in Arizona for my last two years of college, where it's the complete opposite. It's hot year round, pretty much. Um, we ne there's no winter, you know. <laughs> like a lot of people still wear like a shorts and tee year round. Um, and there, it's it's the gym is too hot rather than too cold. So I would prefer that as soon as you step in the gym, it's warm, like your body's warm, you're already ready to go. Um, and I love that, even though, you know, in the summers or around that time, you'd be playing drenched in sweat, feeling lightheaded. I would prefer that to um, playing in the cold and freezing my ass off. But as always, thank you for watching. Um, please hit that like button, the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. 
don't be weird, don't be watching the videos and not hit the subscribe button. Um, but no, I appreciate all the support. There's going to be more videos, sit downs, uh, the next vlog coming soon. So be on the lookout for that and I'll see you guys in the next video.